Hey, it's Gabe. Today I'm going to show you how you can sync Follow Up Boss to KV Core. So, all those contacts and leads you have in Follow Up Boss can automatically get added to KV Core as they're added to Follow Up Boss. You don't have to import, you don't have to export. It's just going to keep these two tools working together as one. Not only will the contacts come over, but you can actually sync activities. So, if you make a note, send a text, make a phone call, that information can get synced into KV Core as well. Let me show you how to set this up. The first thing you're going to do is go to apination.com. There you're going to see a button that says start sync. And so you're going to click that. That's going to take you to a bunch of apps, marketing apps, productivity apps, including follow up boss and KV core. So I'm going to scroll on down until I get to F for follow up boss, click on that. And you can see, I can sync follow up boss with all these different apps right here. So we have marketing apps, we have other CRMs, we have apps like Google Contacts and iPhone Contacts to manage your contacts and keep your caller ID updated. Um, today we're syncing it to KV Core, so I'm gonna click on that. And you can see we have two syncs available. We can send contacts to KV Core and we can send activities to KV Core. I'm gonna start with contacts, get all my contacts automatically added to KV Core. First step, I'm going to go ahead and sign into my API Nation account. If you don't have one yet, click here. You can create one. They're totally free to create. Or you can sign in with your Google account, which is what I'm going to do. Once you've signed in, now you're going to connect the two accounts. So to connect Follow Up Boss, you're just going to hit Connect. It's going to ask you for your API key and just to name the sync. So I'm going to go over to Follow Up Boss to find that API key. I'm going to click on Admin. Come all the way over here to More go to API, and then I'm just gonna click Create API Key. I'll go ahead and name it. I can name it API Nation, I can name it KV Core, whatever it takes. There's my API key, so I will copy that, head on back to API Nation, paste it in there, hitting Control V, and then I'll just name this. I just usually name it after myself. Uh, you can name it after your company, your office, totally up to you. And then hit connect. Once you've connected Follow Boss, now we're going to connect KV Core. Similar thing, just hit this connect button. It's going to ask you to sign into KV Core and authorize. Very simple. And that's all it takes to connect that app. All right, we're on the final step here. All right, it's asking us again do we want to sync the notes or the people? This time we're going to go ahead and sync the people. So we're going to choose that. There's this option to sync all contacts on first run. That means it's going to take all existing contacts from Follow Boss and any new contacts you have in the future and push them into KV Core. If you leave this box unchecked, so you decide not to do that, it's just gonna put any new contacts you add in the future into KV Core. So it's just gonna start paying attention now. As they get added to KV Core, would you like us to overwrite the information in KV Core with Follow Up Boss? Or you can check this box and say, don't overwrite it, just fill in any blanks. I'm gonna hit subscribe and that's gonna create the sync. You're gonna see there's a few more options here, but by and large, just ready to go. You can hit this button right here and activate it and it'll be up and running. I'm gonna show you two more things you can look at. There's the filter. So if you only wanna send over specific people from Follow Up Boss and KV Core, you can use this filter. For example, maybe you're just tagging them and you can say tags contains KV Core. And then you can just tag them KV Core knowing that that contact is getting sent to KV Core. You could do it with tags, you can do it with zip code, you can do it with stage is another popular one, syncing them over when they reach a certain stage in Follow Up Boss. Any of those are great options. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out. I just wanna send over um, all my new contacts in the KB Core. And then I'm gonna come down here to mapping. This is basically just saying, this is the information from Follow Up Boss. It's going in here to KB Core. First name's going to first name, last name to last name, full name to full name, email, phone. If there's anything else you wanna add, just go ahead and write it in, or you can click here to add a field. So for example, for KV Core Source, I'm actually just gonna write follow a boss. And then you can see KV Core Note. I'm actually just gonna create one. I'm gonna hit this plus sign, and I'm gonna look through, is there anything else? I'm gonna say, oh, stage, that's good to send over. So I'm gonna say, all right, follow up boss, stage, colon, and then it's gonna say the stage. And I can just build out custom notes that way, hitting plus sign, finding the fields I wanna add, is person contacted, that could be helpful in the notes. Contacted, question mark, and then the answer. So that looks good, I'm gonna go to the top and activate this sync. There we go, the sync is up and running, now any contacts I add 
will automatically get synced into KV Core. I'm going to click on follow up boss again, and I'm going to go through that same process. This time, clicking KV Core again, and this time we're going to add the notes sync. So here you go, follow up boss activities. Post a note to KV Core. I'm going to activate this sync. This way, I can sync notes. I can sync text. And I'm just going to choose the account I connected last time. And I'm going to do the same thing with KV Core. Choose the account I connected. And here we are. We're creating the sync. This time, we are going to select this top option, syncing a follow-up boss activity to KV Core note. We're going to go ahead and choose the activity. So you can choose an appointment, task, note, text message, any of these. You can have a little note created in KV Core to reflect. I'm going to go with note for now. So when a note is created or updated in a follow-up boss, it's going to create a note in KV Core. There's great information here about how we connect those two notes. If you can get an email address, a cell phone, first name and last name, it's going to make it really easy for us to connect these two accounts and know that when you make a note in Follow Boss, it's going to make that same note in KV Core. So if you're not seeing notes come across, make sure that the contact in Follow Boss has an email, cell phone, first name and last name. That's going to help it come across and match. I'm going to hit subscribe to create this sync. Then you can see, all right, we're making when a note is created. I don't really want to filter anything out. I'm going to come down here, note title and note details. You can write these in. You can pull in fields from follow up boss. I can help you write these. I'm going to go ahead and just title it note created in follow up boss. And then the note details, I'm actually going to hit this plus sign and I'm going to say note subject and below that note body text perfect this looks good i'm gonna go ahead and activate this sync so there we go this workflow is up and running so let's check it out i have this contact here kenyan sparks i also have them in my kv core there they are you can see i have the email i have the phone number which makes it a lot easier for the sync to figure out how to match the notes i'm going to make that note here in follow-up boss met kenyan at the house, very interested. There we go, create the note. We have the note in follow up boss. The sync is gonna fire when the note is created. And when we go to KV core, I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this. There it is, note created in follow up boss, met Kenyon at the house, very interested. That's it, the activities are coming over from follow up boss to KV core. And you might think, all right, well, I am doing more than notes. I'm doing texts. I'm doing emails. No problem. I'm going to go back here to this sync. I'm going to go to settings and I'm just going to clone this sync. I'm going to clone it. And then I'm just going to choose whatever other activity I want synced over. So first we did notes. I'm going to do a text message. Now I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go ahead and say text sent in follow boss. And then I will just fill in the note details. So text message message, that looks good. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that and activate that sync. And I can just keep doing this with all the activities I want synced over. To keep it easy to follow along, I would just rename this one. I would say, I'm gonna rename this from follow up boss activities, post a note to KV Core. I'm gonna say follow up boss texts, post a note to KV Core. I'm gonna go back to my syncs and do the same thing with that other one. Follow up boss notes. And again, I can just keep cloning these and creating more syncs to cover all the other activities I want synced over. Follow up boss calls, change the name of this one. And then come down here and update the note. Call made in follow up boss. And then I can put call created at, called at, there we go, and activate that sync. So there we go. That's how you can sync contacts, that's how you can sync notes, that's how you can sync text, that's how you can sync a bunch of different activities from Follow Up Boss to KV Core. So that's how you sync Follow Up Boss with KV Core. It's gonna make using these two very powerful apps together as one super simple and give you a lot of different options for you, your team, and your brokerage. If you have any questions or need any assistance setting up this sync, 
Give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation, and we're connecting the world's applications.